All right, hello friends, welcome back. We're uh, checking out the suit photo uh, portable camera slider today. This is gonna be the unboxing on this particular product. So uh, let's open this thing. I've never actually um, had a camera slider before, so this is the first. And uh, just another little upgrade to my video um, editing and um, picture production. So basically a slider allows you to um, smoothly um, zoom in and out or pass by objects or whatever if you're doing uh, uh, videos or whatever. So first of all what we have in here is just this little case here and uh, first appearance that's fairly nice, seems fairly um, durable. It's got this little Velcro here. Okay, and you can just put those together. There's a strap like that. Okay, it weighs maybe a pound or two. Not very heavy at all. All right, so let's uh, continue with the, the unveiling here of the product. All right, so nice little case, that's for sure. Inside the case, we have the actual camera slider itself. All right, so let's remove that. Okay. Inside also a Allen wrench. And that is it for the inside the case. So Nice little padding on the case too to protect your uh, slider. So that is uh, that's pretty cool. All right, so let's check it out. So all right, an Allen wrench. I don't think uh, we need to say any more about that. Let's get to the uh, what you've all been waiting for. All right, so first thing that strikes me with this is I really like the colors. Um, any kind of metallic colors are pretty cool. And uh, this is like, kind of like a metallic um, red. So, okay. So here we go. On the bottom, it has uh, nice little uh, grips here. I wonder if these are able to adjust. Yes, they are. So, you have a little bit of play on how uh, the ability to adjust. Maybe if you put them on an uneven uh, table or something, this gives you uh, a little bit of uh, different height adjustment on the legs there. Okay. Also, so I'm noticing it's quite smooth here running back and forth on this. It's also fairly quiet too. So it's not gonna interfere with your video if you're just moving along like that. Um, it's got the, looks like a standard um, universal um, um, attachment here. Most uh, cameras uh, can screw down onto on the top of that. And uh, I'll have to demonstrate that. Okay, um, also it has two different uh, screw sizes for different cameras uh, attachments to or maybe a tripod or something like that you can attach it to the bottom of that i believe my nikon can fit on this if i'm not mistaken i'll have to find out all right so on the front here also it has this uh, little screw and so if you tighten it it allows the resistance to increase or decrease if you loosen it up so obviously you could lock it in place here if you wanted to or wherever and it's quite just with the, the turn of the screw here it's quite uh, easy to do so okay um, what are we doing over here I'm not sure they have these um, on the sides there's these little almost button like things but they're not um, there is uh, holes there for an Allen wrench. This didn't come with instructions. So I guess, I mean, I guess the camera slider is pretty self-explanatory, but why not mess around, right? Let's uh, see what happens when we take out these uh, Allen wrenches. 
Okay, so there's one out. And then I thought if I pulled it out, maybe the button would... It appears to be a button there. So let's pull out the other one and find out what's going on here. Okay. Um, so far, I do not... Unless that pushes out, I, I'm not sure what that was for. Um, be that as it may, okay. So those Allen wrench um, screws actually come out and they can be screwed into here as well. Not sure what function that would serve. All right, we are going to put those back in there. Okay. So first off, um, first glance and uh, kind of just messing with this, it seems to be fairly well built. I mean, it uh, seems really sturdy, actually. Um, I'm not sure what kind of metal this is made out of. Maybe some kind of a lightweight aluminum, but definitely, definitely sturdy. I mean, you could feel like you were going to knock this on something, and it's not going to, it's not going to hurt it. It uh, seems to be well constructed, actually. Fairly impressed with that. And um, another cool feature is, if you can see, right there. It has a little level on there with a little water bubble in there that you can center in the middle and get that to make sure that you know that everything is perfectly level. So that's actually pretty cool. All right, my friends, uh, that is it for the unboxing. I will be doing a more detailed uh, demonstration of the product as well as a review to finish this off. So. Okay, that's cool. I just noticed it had a little. It has little um, bumpers there at the end. So if you do right here, if you do travel to the end with your camera, it's not going to do a metal on metal sound when you hit the end of the slider and, and mess up your video. So if you were looking for a nice smooth uh, transition there, that is actually someone uh, looks like they put a lot of thought into this slider, and it seems to be. Uh, nice uh, sturdy product um, this is run on Amazon for about fifty dollars and I will obviously put a link in the description below so you can check it out if you want to so thanks for watching this um, unboxing my friends and uh, we'll see you next time I'll be uh, coming out with the review and demonstration soon